So a lot of people have an issue where as they post, they take their, lose their leg off their horse and they tend to come off like this and they post out. And what you're doing when you do that is letting his whole top line fall out and you're letting his hind end disengage. You've got to keep your leg on him all the way down through that post. So you're pushing down through your heels and just rising in your hips. And if you let that leg pop off, you're letting his rib cage go. Whereas if you slide your leg down the horse, you're keeping a constant contact, driving him forward, extending that trot. So if you're going back and you're watching your videos or you're feeling and they're plodding along and they're not really driving out, it's probably your lower leg popping off of him, not asking him, not making him go forward. He's not going to put forth any more effort than you ask of him. So some good exercises to do in order to strengthen your lower leg and get used to that feeling of not letting it come off is take away the ability to brace. Take your stirrups away a few minutes a day, not all at once. And then you're gonna see where this lower leg is in contact with him all the way down. And now you, you can't get out of the saddle with your leg coming off of him. You've gotta keep your leg on him and rise. So we'll show you what that looks like. Another exercise that you can do to help ingrain the feeling of opening your leg up around your horse rather than pinching at the knee uh, is to sit on a barrel, a protein tub, or an exercise ball and really think about wrapping your leg around it. This is actually kind of easier on a barrel since it's not rolling up around you and it's elongated. Um, feel that when you open your knee and make contact with your lower leg it's suddenly much easier to find your horse's rib cage um, and to make those leg cues because uh, your leg is on your horse down through through your lower leg, through your ankle, um, and, and then you can just turn your toes out slightly and uh, make that contact with your spur. So this actually does two things that totally destroy your gait if you're pinching at the knee when you post or two point. Like we talked about before, by pinching off and rising off of your knee, you're letting your lower leg pop off with each stride. Uh, we already discussed that, so I'm not going to wear you out with that again. But by pinching at the knee, you're also shutting your horse's shoulders off. And that can't, when his shoulders are pinched off, he can't stride out. It's kind of painful for him. So between pinching his shoulders and not supporting his rib cage with your lower leg, you're creating a recipe for total disaster. He's not driving from behind and he's not reaching forward in his front end. So not only is this not going to win you any hunt seat classes just based on his stride, but it creates a laundry list of other problems. You can see in this still shot that pumpkin seed is really looking for the bit. His top line is nice and round. He's maintaining contact with the reins. He's not shoveling through the bit, but he's resting on my hands. And if he weren't driving from behind, you would see his top line hollow out. You would see him come up off the bit and he's not driving from behind and he's not pushing to reach forward. Issue number two is that he wouldn't have his shoulders elevated and his hind end under him to lope off into a nice cadenced canter. A disengaged hind end at the trot is going to translate into all his other gates. Problem number three is his stop. 
the telltale way to tell if your horse is engaged from behind is his stop. If he hits his front end when you say whoa and just you pop out of the saddle and it pops your back and it's just a wreck, then he's not un under himself. If he sets down over his hocks like he needs to, then he was driving in his gate. Those are my tips for this week on No Stirrup November. So again, get you a exercise ball is kind of hard because it's rolling around on you. Um, I found that a barrel works best. I still use this illustration because it helped me so much. It kind of made things finally click um, to open your knee and really wrap your lower leg around him. So you're not sitting like you're sitting in a chair with your legs, you know, per perpendicular with your body. You're actually sitting with them out, out at the knee and wrapping your lower leg around him. But y'all have a great week. I will get back with you next week on some more tips for No Start November. Bye.